Okay, folks, so I'm here with my special guest. I've got the Wildlife Brothers with me. I've got Harrison and I've got Evan. How's it going? And they are really excited. I am. To take a bullet ant sting. Oh, I love bullet ants. I love them. I'm like a kid in a candy shop down here. Can't get enough. Can't get enough of these ants. Boom. Stinger in my arm. Oh, oh, ah. My name is Jack. And I've spent the past few years traveling all over the globe to find some of nature's most unique and most dangerous animals. My goal? To show the world that even the most bizarre or perhaps even deadly life forms on Earth deserve both our respect and our appreciation. Now this mission has pushed me to the extreme through a particularly painful series of bite and sting tests. Now I do these tests to showcase how these animals would much rather avoid us than waste their precious venom stinging for no reason. Of course, when they do feel threatened, many species are capable of delivering a wicked sting that even I can have a difficult time with. In today's video, we will be once again going toe to toe with the most fearsome and painfully stinging ant on earth, the bullet ant. Now, of course, you all know how I easily face off with this infamous ant, but what if I sting two people who have never been stung by one before? Interested to see their reactions? Let's dive right in. Okay, folks, so we've got something really special for you planned today. What I have right here is a familiar face. In this little container, I have Paraponera clavata, the bullet ant. Now, the last time I took a sting from a bullet ant was over five years ago in 2018 in Costa Rica. I've taken a lot of stings since then, and I still rank bullet ant fairly high up, but I think I may need a little bit of a refresher. Now, bullet ants are in a monotypic tribe, which means these ants are the only species in their tribe, genus, and of course their species. However, I think that there might be some variability as they stretch through Central and South America, whether that just be in slight color variety or perhaps slight variations in size, but it could also mean that these South American bullet ants could be more painful than their Costa Rican cousins that I've tried. So, uh, I think that I'm going to take another bullet ant sting. Now, these bullet ants have an intense neurotoxin, but what that mostly is designed for is to tell my body that it's in pain, not necessarily to physically harm me, but to make my body feel like it is being physically harmed. And that's a great adaptation that many of these stinging insects have because if just a few of them can land a few powerful stings on even a large animal like a bear or an ocelot or a jaguar or something, they can easily deter these gigantic animals because the pain is intense and it's enough to make the animals that they're stinging feel like, oh, I'm really getting hurt, my arm is gonna fall off. And so these animals are able to really effectively defend their nests with that powerful sting. But as you can see, when they're not threatened, you're in no danger. But uh, without any further ado, I think we'll get right down to the nitty gritty and retest the bullet ant sting. Oh wow, she's beautiful. There we go. Oh! <laughs> All right. Yeah, we'll, we'll hold you on there for a little bit. Oh, wow, just pumping venom. That is, see the stinger stuck in my arm there. Oh, wow. It's about like how I remembered it, just like mother used to make. This sting is incredibly intense and painful, but what's really interesting is that it takes almost a few seconds to start ramping up and kicking in. Wow. 
that is quite painful. You know what, let's go for another one. Right, I mean, in the sense of adventure. <sighs> Woo! <laughs> that's, uh, that's a pretty good sting you got on you, girl. All right, let's try this one more time. See the initial sting there. Boom. Oh, oh look at the stinger in my arm. Oh, oh, ah. oh that one. Oh, that one was definitely worse. Oh, man. Ah, definitely worse than a tarantula hawk. <laughs> Had to throw that one in there for old time's sake. But wow, she's still, look, she's still embedded into my arm. Whew. She's trying to dislodge that stinger. I might have to help her in a second. These ants have incredibly large stingers for their size. And once again, those stingers are barbed. So when they pierce through my skin, they have a chance of getting stuck. It's okay. Shh, shh, shh. There we go. You just needed a little bit of help, didn't you? Okay, yeah, bullet ant, uh, still easily the most painful ant sting that I've taken, easily still one of the most painful stings I've endured. Um, and additionally, now with these two separate stings, it's gonna be interesting to see the effects. My last bullet ant sting from Costa Rica, I had all sorts of uh, inflammation and sweating and all sorts of crazy stuff going on. So it'll be really interesting to see how my body reacts to these South American bullet ants. Granted, it'll probably be pretty much the same, but this is just too cool to retry this species. Let's take a look. Love them. I'm kidding, I wouldn't eat you, girl. Oh, I love bullet ants. I love them. I'm like a kid in a candy shop down here. Can't get enough. Can't get enough of these ants. Too, too, too cool. Well, uh, we're gonna see the effects of this sting uh, over the next few days here, uh, but uh, we love our beautiful little ant for helping us. Kissed her. I kissed her if you can't see it on the camera. Here, I'll, 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 you'll get a good kiss on camera. She's gonna like sting me on the lips. Okay, that's close enough. Beautiful ants, fantastic test. One last look at this, folks. You can see sting two, sting one. We'll let her walk over her, the war ground. Look at this, folks. Woo. Woo. Love it. Welcome, my friends, to the extended version of this video. Today I will be joined by some special guests because everybody always says, oh man, this guy, he's made of steel. He has the freaking pain tolerance of an iron golem. That's not necessarily true. When I'm expecting these things to happen, it's pretty easy to compose myself. I've not yet run across an insect that has caused me to lose control of my own body. So. In order to further prove that point, I have some people here that have never been stung by a bullet ant in their life, and we're gonna see how well they fare with the bullet ant sting. Okay, folks, so I'm here with my special guest. I've got the Wildlife Brothers with me. I've got Harrison and I've got Evan. How's it going? And they are really excited. I am. To take a bullet ant sting. Now, have you boys been stung by really anything notable before? Honestly, no, a few paper wasps, a couple ants, but nothing on the caliber of yep. what I've heard about This will be ants. definitely a step up from the things we've taken in the past. So it's gonna be pretty interesting to see these old white-bellied boys over here <laughs> taking uh, a sting from arguably one of the most painful stinging insects on Earth. So I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hand you each your lovely gal. All right. Evan. Hey, sweetheart. First time free handling a bullet in as well. So that's always so much fun. Wow. Harrison, here's yours. That is so cool. Come here, it's okay. Hi, 
see that. <laughs> They're cool little things. Really, really neat. So we've got the boys their ants. Now, what you can expect is an intense sensation of pain. And it's going to be something similar to right here because I've just taken my stain. Mm -hmm. Now these ants, like we see here again, these are not aggressive animals. Absolutely. These are defensive at best. So it's not until I have to force them to sting us that they are going to. Uh, but of course, you know, if you find yourself falling into a bullet ant nest, that's gonna be a pretty painful adventure. Indeed. So uh, without any further ado, I think uh, I think if you boys are ready, uh, we'll get started on your sting test. Awesome. All right. I'm down. All right, we'll start with Evan here. Are you sure ready? I am ready. All right, Let's I want her. you to put your arm down like this. Come in close for this one. Let's get her onto the... Let's get her. She might be hesitant to get onto the arm with the arm hair. Let's see here. Oh, careful. Okay. Let's see here. Let's have you pull out a little more so we can see the reaction. Alrighty. Let's have you hold your arm farther down like this. Everything look good? As good as it could go? Indeed. All right, you ready? I am ready. You're about to be indoctrinated into the Bullet <laughs> Ant Sting Club. I am ready. It's something I've dreamed about for many years, believe it or not. All right, here we go. Oh, there it is. There it is. That She's is got it. her stinger stuck. You come Stinger's and take a look at that. still in there, absolutely. All right, oh, there she, she goes. She detached. released it pretty quick. That is some intense pain. My hand is shaking involuntarily. Uh-oh, she just dropped onto the ground here. But it's not by any means unbearable. I wouldn't say that I have a, an abnormal pain tolerance. And it's just there. It is a, a pretty tough, it's like a a needle going in and just kind of sticking there, but it's not, you know, I'm not shaking, rolling around on the ground, anything crazy. Here, I, it's a decent sting though, I have to admit. I think we're gonna give you another one. Another one? Oh yeah, why not? We're here. May as well. Ooh, there it is. <laughs> Number two. Hey, sweetheart. Ooh, Look at Stinger's that. still in there, you got that? Oh yeah, there she goes. one there, one there. Cute little guys, aren't they? <laughs> Nothing to worry about though. Although I will say, if you did fall into a nest and took many of those without expecting it, that would be very unpleasant. Yeah, even I, Ooh. the experienced stingman, would uh, probably uh, poop my pants <laughs> if I fell into a I bullet could, ant nest. I, I could not, not be happy you. with that. Ooh. Arm is shaking a little bit, but we'll, not too we'll bad. We'll let you start to swell up and inflame, Indeed. and we'll head over to your Harrison. brother's region. All right, bro. And we'll, uh, we'll have Harrison Woo. take, we'll say two stings at least. Fantastic. We have to have it equal, because oh, yeah. being twins, they have to receive the exact same amount of venom in order to get the exact same That's amount right. of results, because they're virtually the same. That's true. All right. All right, I want you to put your hand like that. Perfect. That's the bullet ant. That is the bullet ant sting. See? <laughs> Everybody's so dramatic. It's not that bad, is it? No. You can see I'm already covered in mosquito bites. Yeah, that right. is so one thing about the Of board. just a few more insect trophies. Right. All right. This has got to be my favorite now. You ready, Harrison? I am ready. Perfect. Oh, come, come on, on, sweetheart. There it is. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I, I think, Jack, you put it very well that if you're expecting it, sure, this is something that's quite a bit more tolerable. Yeah. I will admit, it's actually more painful than I thought. Yeah. It, it really is quite the noticeable sting. Let's do one more. Of course, of course. And the pain is said, apparently, to last for... 24 hours. 24 hours. In your experience, there Jack, does the pain increase in intensity over time? So, or does it kind of die down in that first 24 hours? Right. We get that stinger yep. lodged now she's in stuck. the arm there. Well, there she, uh, she got it, it out, out pretty quick. Right there you go. <laughs> in no my, long sting here. Right. In <laughs> my experience, this pain is going to last for a few hours. 
cool. And then what it basically fades into is a fairly intense localized soreness. I see. Um, you'll have, you know, it might be fairly uncomfortable tonight when we're trying to go to sleep, you know, just because you're just like, man, it just feels like somebody hit your arm with a baseball bat right there. Um, but for the most part, I've never, I've never experienced this 24 hours of pain, this 24 hour ant mm -hmm. sting. Right. Um, but I will say, of course, that this, the duration, and you're feeling it now, it's, it lasts much longer than your average, Cleaning like, her uh, average, you know, paper wasp or yellow jacket or something like that, which mm. is a fairly, I say, flash in the pan style pain experience yep. where it, it happens it's very intense and then a few minutes later you're going God, i can barely feel that so it's going to be really interesting to see it's really not going to last too long it's going to be a few days of effects i'm i'm expecting so what we're going to see tomorrow i think is more of this kind of inflammation this localized sweating uh localized fever as well we're going to feel i can already feel that this patch of my arm is warm little ball me um, and that's again your your body essentially reacting to this neurotoxin. These are very large ants. That abdomen is absolutely chock full of that powerful neurotoxic venom. These are these are no joke. But uh, they're again not aggressive animals. You can see after we force them to sting, they have no inclination to repeat that offense. That's what I was going to say. Actually, I'm amazed by the fact that we just put both of these animals under considerable stress, and as soon as we physically let them go. They go back to moving around the same way they were before they stung at all. Mm -hmm. It really is amazing that they're so calm even after undergoing something that they really thought was a threat to their life. That's the only reason they sting. It's not because they're aggressive. It's not because they're angry. It's because they're scared and think we're going to either kill them or eat them or both. Exactly. And so that's, you know... One, that's the really the main reason why I'm still doing all these sting videos is to show people that the bullet ant, right? This iconic, this huge species of ant that has this horribly painful sting, right? It's just this tranquil, calm, beautiful species that we get to enjoy here in the Neotropics. One of my favorite species of insects in the world and really an animal that doesn't deserve this kind of monster level, you know, scary mm. tier style uh, reputation that these animals have been awarded to themselves. Because I think uh, I think they're beautiful, I think they're amazing ants, and they're special ants too. And I just love encountering them here in the Americas. So, brothers, thank you so much for joining me on of this course. fantastic yeah. adventure. Hey, thank I'm you for having, having us. Of course, I'm so glad to have gotten you your first bullet ant stings. This has been a great trip so far, and I think, uh, I think this is one of my favorite videos we've filmed. So, uh, <laughs> I'm All glad right. you boys were able to join me. We'll keep you updated on at least what happens to my arm. I'm sure we'll get some updates from the brothers as well. We'll see uh, how they fare. Uh, but other than that, I think that's all we've got for you right now. So thanks so much, boys. Of course. And uh, be sure to subscribe to these guys. I'm going to have their uh, channel linked in the description below, the Wildlife Brothers. They've filmed tons of great stuff here in Ecuador with me. And uh, they've got tons of great stuff coming. So be sure to check them out. Much but other than that, yeah, I think uh, I think it's just going to be riding out the effects, boys. Indeed, so uh, right. we'll... Uh, We'll get in the car, we'll drive for five hours to the next place, and hopefully uh, hopefully our stings, uh, you know, don't get too bad in there. <laughs> All right, Gage didn't want to get left out, so we're going to treat him to a bullet ant sting as well. Come in. She got you? Mm-hmm, she's getting me. I want to be gentle. I'm barely holding her on there. Look at that stinger. Woof. <laughs> Just trying to pull that stinger out of your arm now. Come on. Pump, pump, pump some pump more some venom more. in there. It's just Gage. He'll survive. There, she's pumping some she's more. Pumping in. some more. Good. 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 Kill him. Kill him now. <laughs> Look at that, you can already see your arms getting fairly red. Oh yeah. Pretty much immediately, there she goes. Four for the price of one. And what the heck? No screaming or crying? Are you guys broken or something? <laughs> Certainly not. <laughs> All right, too cool. That's not too bad. 
Nah. <laughs> Down he goes. So here we go, folks. It's about 10 minutes. You can already see some of that localized sweating in, in uh, sting site number two, um, number one, sorry. Sting site number two, they're both starting to get pretty inflamed. You can start to see all sorts of patchiness and redness in my skin. It is still fairly painful. Um, not really died down since the initial sting, which is quite the leg up on the paper wasps and velvet ants and all that because the pain from those stings just immediately falls off. Like a minute later, you're like, ah, I can barely tell I got stung by anything. Next day, it's itchy. Yeah, it's a little annoying. This is still fairly peak pain 10 minutes after the fact, which is really, really impressive. And on top of that, it's going to have some really interesting effects on my uh, on my arm here. So we're gonna we're gonna keep a close eye on this, but uh, I'm already really enjoying my second bullet ant test. Here we go. The brother's arms about five minutes afterward. Yep, got one there on me and the second there. Yeah. Here are my two. It's hard to tell with all the mosquito bites. <laughs> yeah. There's bullet ant number one. There's bullet ant number two. Yeah, a little bit of swelling. It's not even as red as I expected, honestly. It is quite hot to the touch. Oh yeah, it is. Uh, one thing that I was saying is that initially it was more painful than I expected, but now at this point, I think I've just gotten used to it and it's less painful mm -hmm. than I thought it would be. Yeah, I could deal with this for 24 hours. Pretty much, which yeah. Which we'll have to do now, but that's all right. They're still such incredible animals. They really are. I mean, this is a species that we've both wanted to see in the wild for so many years. So to have the chance to do it, and to do it in South America, too, is such an incredible honor. Take a look here, folks. We're about an hour after the sting. And look at that, my arm is like profusely sweating. We've got all sorts of goosebumps. This is such an insane sting, and these reactions always surprise me with these bullet ants. Because look at that, I'm quite literally nowhere else. I'm not sweaty over here, I'm not sweaty up here, but I am dripping sweat from this area of localized fever. That is so weird. Take a look here, folks. This is about 24 hours after my bullet ant sting. Whoa, look at all of that. It was fairly painful and sore most of yesterday. Now it's mostly just a little tender and itchy. But uh, really impressive inflammation from just an ant sting. Well, there you have it. That's four people getting stung by Paraponera clavata, the bullet ant, and facing the pain head first. Now, what do you think's more likely? That all four of us have some insane pain tolerance allowing us to keep our cool? Or... Perhaps choosing to sting yourself and expecting the pain allows you to stay in control and experience the pain without unnecessary dramatics. I'll let you be the judge. Now, I hope you all enjoyed this extended version of the bullet ant sting test from my recent trip to Ecuador, and I hope this helped open your eyes to the fantastic world of stinging insects. My friends, this is all the time we have today, but I wanted to leave you with something before I go. This planet is home to some fascinating, complex, and beautiful life forms. Some may be beautiful or magnificent. Some may be creepy and crawly. And some may even be dangerous or deadly. But they're all here for a reason. Each and every organism serves an important and vital role in their native ecosystems, and they provide priceless ecological services with their existence. You don't have to like all the snakes and spiders and ants of the world, but we do need to recognize and respect the important work they do in maintaining not only the health of their ecosystem, but in the health of our planet as a whole. Remember to be kind to your fellow Earthlings, and I'll see you all next time with the next upload.